What? What do you want? Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm setting up. I'm setting up. Okay. <laughs> We're going to play a little intuition exercise. Minerva needs to get her camera time in. She's getting all party for the camera. Right? So what I have, <laughs> what I have for you guys today is some sage and one of my beautiful subscribers made me this jar. Look how cool this is. That's my birthday, you guys. August 5th made me this beautiful jar. I love this. It's so pretty. I put it on my altar. Minerva likes it too. And I have one of her toys that she doesn't care about. She don't care about these toys. Okay. So I already know which object I'm going to pick. Stop trying to sneak an object in there. <laughs> She's trying to sneak in. That's this is her favorite toy right here. That's her favorite toy. Okay, so again, I have the sage. I have this beautiful jar with my birth date on it and her bell. Not that. <laughs> okay? So I already know which object I'm going to keep and I know which two I'm going to take away. So what I want you guys to do now is to go within, find a quiet place. It's like her tail is doing the tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, the hypnot putting you guys in a hypnotic state. So find a quiet place and um, do your breathing technique. Three big deep breaths. Calm your mind, calm your body, and I want you to listen. I want you to feel. I want you to tune in to your higher self, your intuition, your future you. The reason for these videos is to teach you how to listen to your intuition so your intuition can guide you in life. Your intuition will never steer you wrong because your intuition is your future you. It's your higher self. And that little gut feeling that you get in your tummy is your intuition trying to speak with you. But if you're not in tune with it, you're going to get weird feelings throughout your body. And you're, it's going to throw you into a state of fear when you get those strange sensations in your body. Okay, guys. I'm going to put my phone down and I'm going to take away two objects. If you need more time, please pause the video. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm taking away object number one and I'm taking away object number two. And I'm going to replace object number three. Again, if you need more time, just keep the video paused. If you guys are ready for the reveal, I'm going to show you the object now. Ta-da! <laughs> yes, once again, Minerva laid right here and she said, and she tapped the object. She's a cheater. <laughs> So yes, I picked the sage. This is actually her favorite. She loves sage. For those of you that pick up on my energy trail, I took away this beautiful jar first and her toy second. So how did you guys do? Let me know how you guys did. Tell me how did your intuition guide you to this? Was it because Minerva cheated and she pointed to it? <laughs> 
Or was it because you seen the image in your mind? Did you maybe get a smell of sage? Um, did you hear the word sage? Were you just, was it like a magnet and it was just pulling your mind to the sage? Let me know how you guys did. Let me know how your intuition communicates with you. Share with everybody so other people can read. So it may help them, you know, get more familiar with the sensations when your intuition is communicating with you. So if you share how it communicates with you, it might give them an idea of how their intuition is trying to communicate with them. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. I got to work today. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. We are in some strange times. There is a conjunction happening right now. It actually started yesterday on Wednesday, and it's going to last. The energy of this conjunction of the black moon is going to last until August 2nd. And I just got done listening to the Oracle report and everything that she said is literally happening. Everything that she said in her last readings is literally happening or happened. So beware of false flags. If you're in a region where there's a lot of earthquakes and uh, volcano activity, just uh, stay safe, stay aware. And have a plan B just in case something happens in the region that you live in. We are also entering the the Lion's Gate very soon. So there's a lot of stuff energetically that's happening. Um, I spent the last week literally just exhausted. Very tired. A lot of downloads. A lot of um, integration. A lot of, uh, just a lot of knowledge. A lot of stuff is coming through for me that I need to process and take time for myself um, to kind of understand. I know I haven't done any videos on ascension symptoms or anything like that. It's only because I feel like there's a lot of people out there that are doing them. And basically, I would just be repeating myself on symptoms you know, that, that we're, we are receiving, even though the symptoms are kind of like kicked up a notch. (laughs) Um, what else? Um, yeah, just take care of yourself, you know, um, just give me time to get back into the swing of things. I know I have not put a, a nice video out for you guys. I've just been doing vlogs and intuition exercises and I just follow the energy of my body I do what my body tells me so if my body tells me to sleep I sleep if it tells me to eat I eat if it tells me to do a video I do a video even if it's just a quick intuition video um I just don't want to keep sharing the same information that I have shared in the past I want to share with you guys Incredible stuff, stuff that is going to help you. And I feel like I've shared a lot of that already with you guys. You just have to go and scroll through my timeline on YouTube <clears throat> to, uh, excuse me, to, um, you know, find that information. Um, I don't know. I feel like gears are shifting for me and I'm moving in a different direction spiritually And I will share all that with you once I have integrated and processed what I'm going through. Because I do feel like a lot of you are going to go through that too. Um, A lot of us that are sensitive to energy, hypersensitive, are probably feeling exactly what I'm feeling. And I will be sharing that soon. Once Once I totally understand what it is that I am experiencing and why I'm experiencing it. So there's a lot of stuff that I still need to process. Um, Plus I'm really sensitive to what's happening in the cosmos 
And I do feel like that is playing a huge role right now for me, for all of us, actually. I've had some people email me asking how I'm feeling, asking if I'm experiencing fatigue, and yes, I am. Um, I could literally sleep for 12 hours and still be tired. Uh, I spent my three days off laying down. I did have a really bad migraine on Sunday and Monday. Monday I was out for the count. I was just in bed like all day long. Um, I pushed my, myself too hard at work on Sunday when I should have um, taken a medical day for myself because I had a really bad migraine and I paid for it big time on Monday. So uh, that's another part of my learning experience is to put myself first and not let my job govern me and control me, which in result means that I am allowing money to govern me and control me. So just a reminder out there, you guys, take care of your body, take care of yourself. And if you need to take a mental day or a health, you know, a a sick day from work, do it. Just do it because you're going to pay for it later if you don't. And let me tell you, I paid for it on Monday. I was exhausted. Actually, I paid for it these last three days. Today, I feel a lot better. I'm ready. And I have to go back to work. (laughs) So I love you guys. If anybody's interested in a numerology reading or a tarot card reading, please email me. I will put my email link down below. I love you guys. Take care, stay hydrated, and stay positive.